Hey everyone, so I'm going to read another extract from my journal. I just realised as well you can, you can see my orchid, which sadly all the flowers have fallen off, which is very sad. But apparently that's normal and hopefully more flowers should come. But yeah, bless it. Anyway, I'm going to read the next extract in my journal, which is dated Wednesday the 31st of July 2019. So I'll start. Following my burst of determination yesterday morning, as is almost always the case recently, I found myself entering the kitchen with bucket loads of positivity, inspiration and determination, yet somehow left the kitchen having had the same breakfast and then lunch as always. It's so frustrating and yet also just so bloody natural. Restriction has become my habitual go-to behaviour and no matter how determined I feel and how much I think, right, that's it, it always just seems to fizzle out when I'm actually at the point of picking or making something. Dinner was a bit better, but I know that I'm going to have to push a hell of a lot harder if I'm going to actually get out of this stupid rut. This morning hasn't exactly been a smooth running one, but bless Andrew for refusing to accept my bullshit and continuing to call me out every damn time. My brain feels like it's been pushed through a sieve several times, and my thoughts are so chaotic it's actually proving difficult to write this in a coherent manner. Basically, this morning, having spoken to Andrew last night about how much I need to change things up, I'm going to win, and I'm how much I'm going to win this battle, he presented me with a Fox's chocolate biscuit at 7.30 this morning and asked me how much I actually want a recovery. Simple choice, right? A delicious chocolate biscuit and a positive step towards the rest of my life, or another notch on anorexia's win post and a high five to my future going to crap. Ugh. I was there for an hour, an hour and still no fucking biscuit was eaten. I could feel Andrew's plea, I could see his disappointment, I could feel me screaming to have the bloody biscuit, but on top of all that I could hear that bitch of a mindset with a smug little half smile and twisted claws saying, it's too early for a biscuit, chocolate would feel really claggy in your mouth right now, just go and have a challenging breakfast instead. You can have a biscuit whenever you want, just not now. On and on and on and on. Stupid, exhausting, bullshit, logical reasoning that is absolutely absurd yet frustratingly real and all because of one pissing biscuit. Just typing this makes me feel crazy. Have the damn biscuit. Yet I know that if I was back there again right this second the outcome would be exactly the same. I suppose what I'm saying right now is that despite a huge part of me being resolute in my determination for full recovery, that part of me is sufficiently ingrained that Emily struggles to push to the fore and anorexia is firmly in the driving seat. And this is where recovery is hard. No amount of understanding the disease, no amount of delving into the past, no amount of understanding what started it all, no amount of self-acceptance, no amount of reality checks or health scares or family and friends voicing concerns or missed opportunities or spoilt occasions will make it easier to take that first action, to take that first bite of defiance. Nothing. That is always going to be damn horrific. And it's that first, oh my God, that I need to pursue. Reality check. If that bite, that meal, that snack is never going to happen, then my recovery is never going to happen. I'll be stuck in this quasi-bullshit place forever with a just-about-normal-enough relationship with food but no actual ability to be free, spontaneous or adventurous around it. Trapped somewhere between the realms of me and a slippery sloped disorder. And so with that, I'm going to sign off, go downstairs and take two on the biscuit front, despite the fact that the mere contemplation of that right now is bloody awful.